And at 141, we talked about it. There's t-shirts around here that says, free the lead. The freshman, Nick Lee, 14-3 record, going up against Sal Provacci, now ranked number 20, the sophomore for Michigan. Should be interesting. Provacci, he's a plugger. He keeps working at it, keeps getting better every week. Nick Lee, first shot to look at him on the Big Ten Network. Got second at the, uh, at the Southern Scuffle. And a young man out of Evansville, Indiana, was a state champion in Indiana, was homeschooled his senior year as he just trained for freestyle. Yeah, he's taking over for a, a Jared Cortez, who, who just probably hadn't shown enough consistency and the, the effort that Lee was able to give in the Southern Scuffle. Nice job with a go behind there by Lee, and he's able to finish it up with a double leg takedown. And that nine and six record by Provacci is, is not really indicative of probably how well he's wrestled, but you know, he's given a pretty solid freshman a, a, a big advantage here. And, you know, I think that uh, Penn State coaching staff really hit all the right buttons last year, bringing Mark Hall out of red shirt the time that they did. And we remember back last year, it was at the Iowa meet that they were able to do that. And it didn't go as well as Hall would like to have, uh, have gone, but I think he learned a lot from it. And I think they feel the same way about Lee, but Lee is off to a really fast start here with that carry. Second takedown of the match. Nick Lee, as we said, filling in for Jared Cortez, who did injure an ankle at the Southern Scuffle, and he's out right now. But Nick Lee coming out of red shirt, um, a big statement by Penn State right here. The freshman now stepping in at 141. Got a two on one locked up. Now he's you know, didn't get a count there. And I really thought that, that for the Wolverines to be able to be in this meet, all right, this would be a, one of those matches that they really had to had to get in. Provacci, out of a uh, redshirt sophomore out of Monroe Township, New Jersey. He just continues to get better, needs to pull the trigger early, and right now he's going to need to pull the trigger because Nick Lee, the freshman, has pulled the trigger twice, and it's executed perfectly for takedowns. Yeah, it's been all offense for Lee. Straight on shot there by Provacci. We got to follow it up with something solid here. Follows it up with a right hand underhook, but a good job by, by Lee blocking with the top of his head into that right shoulder of Vachi. When we talk about so many state champions, three time, four time, but Pravachi, one of those wrestlers I like to see. He never was a state champion, but here he is wrestling for the Wolverines, ranked number four in the nation. But right now, he's up against tough opponent in Nick Lee, who's having his way with three takedowns in the first period, Jim. Well, that, that last one was just picture perfect here, being able to pop out the back door. Spelled it perfectly. And that's the difference between the two. Provacci's been on a shot, but there was no second move. Lee's hitting the second move in those, in those uh, uh, leg attack situations with ease. And tonight's keys to the meet are brought to you by Nebraska Wrestling Camps, the best team camps in the country. And Jim, what are your keys? Well, starting out with Penn State here, you take a look at what they're able to got. They got to keep the bonus point machine revved, all right? And they've been able to do that. And they're doing the second thing right now as we speak, freeing the Lee. Watching this kid come out of red shirt. And you can see what the, how, why they're high on him because of his offense. And then... For Michigan, the three weight, lightweights have got to come up big, and that includes Provacci right here. And then how do we get to six? They've got some matches that they're in as far as the rankings are concerned. There's not that much of a spread between them. they got to get to six somehow, and that's going to be tough to do against these Lions. Fingers. Wait inside, Sal. Get those hands. Scores 8-0 after the first two matches. Michigan with two major decisions to open up the meet here at the Chrysler Center. Have not been at the Chrysler Center for a wrestling meet in 11 years. Refurbished, looks great here. A lot of excited fans to be here for this big meet against the number two ranked Penn State Nittany Lions on a Michigan swing. They have Michigan State on Sunday before they go back to Fe in February there at Rec Hall for some tremendous meets coming up. Yeah, once again, the shot by Provacci was fairly decent, but he's got his head out of position. Now he's battling here with the shoelaces flat. Can't really get any drive back into his opponent. So really the best he can hope for is 
stalemate here, and, and a nice job by Lee. Hips are down, chest is up, attacking those ankles when he can. Nick Lee, a lot of offense, as you said, and he's also got that look like Zane Rutherford when he goes back to the middle of the match. He goes back fast. Looks like he just wants to get right back in there. Well, I look at the attack rate, very high. Then I also take a look at, you know, does he look flushed or anything the like that? And, he, or the breathing, too. Yeah, and he just looks as calm as could be out there. And, and, and uh, this guy's got a bright future. And, he's, and you can tell by his vision right now, he's looking below the knee. He's, he just anticipates things coming. And when more of the action that he experiences here, the, the better he is, is improving his position. Kind of got it now a little out in front. But again, by getting his laces up, getting a better angle, he can attack the far leg. Short time, he's probably not gonna have enough time to do a good fight by Provacci. Nice fight by Provacci because Lee had found the angle right there, but Provacci fights it off, 6-3, going to the third period. Looks back over at his uh, corner. Sanderson brothers have no problem putting him down. Nick Lee looks like a guy that's been wanting to be freed for a while. He is excited about being out here. Well, Again, he's, he's, he's breathing pretty well, but I tell you what, he's, it's just because he's working hard. You know, there's a difference. Because he's not trying to hold position. He's very active, he's looking for the freshman's ability. It's not a nice job of switching. Good back pressure in there, freed the hips, and made the turn. So now, a little turn of events. Penn State looking for that opportunity. They're out in front by four. They've got riding time. Nick Lee leading seven to three. Can he get in there and get that major decision? But a nice shot here, but uh, Lee stuffing the head. Well, he's not only stuffing the head, but he's at at attacking this maybe a little bit like his teammate, Jason Nolflood. Kavachi gets up, notice how he's attacking both ankles there on the ankle pass. Now at the critical moment, this guy who keeps his head up is gonna win this scramble. Notice how Provacci was able to keep his head up. He comes up into the single leg finish, and Lee concedes. Provacci doing the job there in a lot of ways, keeping Lee from that he trajectory broke, towards the major decision. He broke riding time as well, so it, it, you know you get a takedown there, guys. You got to look back to your corner. They're going to give you instructions on how to go ahead and try to win this match, and he needs two takedowns and or a turn. And you've talked before, you got to know how to let a guy go when you're looking to let him go. Yeah, I just, this is a pet peeve of mine that never ceases to amaze me that we need to go ahead and, and not only you do, not only you don't let him up, but you get a call, stalling call on you. And, and a reversal. Yeah, so great job by Lee being poised. Had a chance in that match where Pravacci could get back into it, but he kind of lost his way and... Lee will end up walking away with the decision, and that's a big decision in this meet. Nick Lee debuts for Penn State with a 9-5 to five win and three points on the board for the Nittany Lions. So after three, because of Nick Lee's win, Michigan leads 8-3. to three. 